Good morning, friends. We are the fourth video in Webot tutorial series. Today, as we know, our world cannot be simulated with just the standard and basic shapes. So today, we will learn how to integrate different shapes and make complex shapes. So today, we will start with a dumbbell shaped object. So, and we'll also learn about physics inside this engine. So we'll delete the object and start from scratch. So first of all, we will take solid as usual and we'll add a child. This time, as we need multiple components, we will add a group. So we added a group now. Inside group, first we'll make a handle. So we'll add a shape. In shape, as we know, handle is cylindrical. So we add a cylinder. You can see the cylinder here. Let's take it here. And now let's change its radius to 0 0.01 so that we have it scaled. In child, let's name this group as G0 and give bounding object as G0 group because our whole object will be bounded by complete group and physics will be physics. So in children, now we have a shape. Next, we'll add a transformation because now we want to add a shape but it is not at the center so we'll go to child we'll choose a shape which is a sphere this time because we want to make a globe we'll have a radius to be 0 0.04 0 .04. And we'll increase the subdivisions to two so that we can see a finer mesh. Now we'll have a transformation of 0 0.05 in y direction so that it moves up because we know that our cylinder is 0 0.1, so half of 0 0.1 upside is 0 0.05. Now, we'll add appearance, so VBR appearance, so it's shining bright. Now, let's save the shape as globe so that next time we can use it directly. We'll have one more transformation, basic node transformation. And here we'll have child as our globe. And this will be any guesses minus 0 0.05. Correct. It will go downstairs. In shape, in appearance, we'll again have the BR appearance so that everything is uniform. See. Now we can see solid in just a single node 